Hello guys, Rolitel here, and this will be a tutorial on how you can change your hotspots if needed. What is that, you wonder? Well, if you go in game, and I guess in this case, everything is good, but it's sometimes when you're making and changing kits, especially if you, if for example the team had, had added us and you make nine kits or vice versa, Sometimes this name and number will like uh, look a bit weird. Maybe it's like way to up, way to down. And then the same things goes uh, for shirts. Luckily, we avoided the issue where we uh, usually where we have to do that with the crest as well, because we use uh, blank crest, which means we place crest on the kits that I showed in my tutorial so we avoid changing hotspots for that as well so if you see that for example nike logo is a bit you know it's over the number or the number is over the nike logo or a bit to, to up to down how to change that well you, you just go to frosty open your project file and i guess in my case if you want to change this chelsea's home kit we just I just go there and what you can do is uh, how, how I usually recommend it say you made uh, you're using Chelsea and you made Adidas kit for Chelsea you can just go to some other team in the Premier League that, that has Adidas kits say Arsenal and just hop, uh, copy those hotspots or you made Puma kits so you just use uh, hotspots from I don't know Man City or Spurs it will be not perfect but it will be Pretty much perfect. I mean, you can uh, do it by yourself, like by changing the second number, but it's it's gonna take you like a lot of time until you make it like spot on. So my tip is uh, much faster for sure. Um, let me just go back, but let's see, let's see, let's see. That's why I said uh, if it had my kit generator, read me, it's really important because it's it explains uh, perfectly about this issue because uh, my design that I used in my kit generator was made after Charles' home kit. So if you need hotspots, you just go to Charles' home kit and literally just copy all the team you ignore. So you don't copy team because team is the crest and crest is done already. So ignore that. You just have to copy number back number front you ignore unless you want to have number at the front uh, name you copy literally just select this copy and then paste you can do this like in two ways you can screenshot the entire of this and then type all the numbers but you can have two versions of the frosty open one with your project and second one when you look at chelsea's hotspots then you want so you want number back name name arc center name arc tangent and arbent is good to have as well and then you go down to shorts you want number and competition list it's also good to copy it's gonna fix the issues like uh, your sponsors on the sleeves being like way too big or up and down things like that so do that as well after that you just uh, save project file and you can launch it and test it in game if if it works perfectly you just uh, make it uh, to mod and uh, there you go uh, the x axis is uh, left and right uh, then you have width and the length I mean it's pretty much self-explanatory but the simplest is just copy and paste pretty much let me go back to this. So if you make night kits, use Chelsea's home kit for hotspots. If you use the um, if you made Puma kit, use Newcastle's home kits hotspots. If uh, you use other brand, you use Adidas. Um, let's see, I think I used let me see. It's made of the Arsenal's home kit, so you, you just go to Arsenal and home kits hotspots. And same is for other brands as well. Arsenal home kit. Then your kits will be spot on, pretty much. So yeah, 
real simple video and i suppose thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask me either in the comments or on uh, youtube or join my discord and ask me there and don't forget to like uh, share and comment uh, join my discord as i said already follow me on twitch and uh, twitter and i'll see you next time bye bye